I suppose, you know, just going back to talk about design challenges as well, because yeah. obviously you've got so many different duty cycles to consider, Completely. all the different work that this yeah. engine's going to have to cope with. But then you've got gearbox transmission. Yep. It could be a continuously variable transmission. It could, it be. could be a power shift. It, certainly it could, could be anything. Yep. So again, where do you start with that? Well, that's where, again, we, we kind of leverage our knowledge of other off-highway you know, um, other off-highway OEMs that we've worked yeah. with, you know, because it isn't the first time we'll have worked with a CVT transmission on the back of one of our B4.5s, for example. So okay. we have data yeah. in that. It's not the first time we've worked with a power shift transmission. You know, we've got all that knowledge from front end loader work, you know, that can mm -hmm. have an enormous uh, transmission hung on the back. So we can pick on all of that and learn more about it. And then we can apply it to how we then develop our software, how we develop the hardware, and the load cases it could yeah. be put through as well. So yeah, that's again, our kind of benefit. We have a library of people and data sat behind us that we can call upon to help yeah. get the best out of this. And, you know, so the likes of you, you know, you're from a farming background, yep. you are proper engineering here. <laughs> what, you know, what does it mean to you and the, the rest of the company's team? You know, you are providing the heart of the tractor. Yep. That's what, you know, it's around this. Yeah, totally. It's, it's, it's really nice because, again, it's a way of giving back to the agricultural community even without being directly affiliated to it. Yeah. You know, I love, since the day I could walk, I've loved tractors. Yeah. I still love tractors now. Also, the bigger the better because we always love a massive tractor with yeah. lots of horsepower. But seeing something like this that you know is going to be hopefully produced in the thousands and support farmers of all different sizes, all different backgrounds across the world really really kind of makes me happy you know yeah. it's a, that's a massive achievement and i really appreciate the fact that cummins is looking into this in more more ways because we always used to be in agriculture in a big way mm. we may have taken half a step back but i think we're now pushing ourselves right into that front of focus well, again that's it. And i think even though maybe people are slightly less aware of you in agriculture these days compared to you know going back to the 90s yep, with exactly KSIH. exactly yeah, yeah they were the heydays yeah they? you always knew when one of those was working on the hill beside oh, you. you could hear yeah. it well and it sounded mint <laughs> that's as well. exactly what i mean and yep. uh but i think even now you you are still a stub substantial player as we've seen Completely. around agritechnica you know yep. we've seen you in the class trion and evion combines yeah we've seen you in, in the agrifax sprays in the versatile delta tracks, oh, all yeah, sorts. Yeah. You're still there, aren't you? Precisely. Yeah. yeah. We all we always do sort of hover around in there. It's just that the coming C might be a little bit smaller yeah. than normal, but we want to make sure that we're providing the necessary power and torque to support those machines.